Welcome back, Veteran X fam, man. Make sure you just subscribe and you notified every time your boy drops a video, man. All right, I know y'all like, why in the fuck are you doing this one? Well, I was about to watch this one on my own, uh, just trying to um, get to know the artists that I react to. So I haven't done a lot of big knowledge, but I do like what I've heard of her so far. So just something else to get to know her. Um, I do these with a lot of artists. So, uh, hey, let's see what see what we got. It says, uh, midway through a world tour that sees her singing to pack stadiums, Billy Idol sticks to a nighttime beauty routine, both for the sake of her skin and her emotional self. So, I mean, so I just want to see, like, kind of what she looked like. Like, I know y'all told me, like, when time frame was with the, like, different hair or whatever, but, you know, you always see females with, you know, when they doing music videos or stuff like that, like, you always got, like, makeup on. So it's cool to, like, see them without it and see, you know, what natural beauty they got. And, um, yo, this is Billie Eilish post-show beauty routine, Beauty Secrets by Vogue. So without any further ado, let's hop right into it. Hello, everyone. I am Billie. Damn, she got some pretty eyes for sure. Girl. <laughs> I like the eyes. Damn, baby. And I am going to show you guys my post show nighttime bedtime beauty routine. Just got off stage. So let's do it. First step this bad boy that I got off Amazon. And I like to get that big old forehead fully <laughs> in frame because. We don't want uh, to miss any inch of my forehead. And then all I do is tuck these little bad boys in to remove this face that I did earlier for the show. I use these face wipes for my makeup. They are like totally vegan, cruelty free. They're very soft and gentle. I have had a skincare routine since I was like 12-ish. Before that, I never thought about it. And it was actually my brother that told me to care about it because he went through some really, really bad skin years. And he was like four years older than me. And so he was like, dude, <laughs> you better take care of your fucking skin, man. That I listened to and I did. He basically showed me all of the stuff that I started using then, which was like just random drugstore stuff that we didn't really know anything about. And then it was my makeup guy recommended this woman named Biba and Biba is this facialist who also makes all of her own products and my skin had a complete like transformation when I started using Biba products. Like it's so insane. I am so grateful for her. So now we are clean faced. I don't have glam on tour um, on the road with me. I do my own hair and makeup. So that's part of my day and this is- Damn, that's crazy. Most uh, artists don't do their own hair and makeup type shit. The rest of my day. I have this mask. And this is like a sulfur and zinc mask. And I'll just... Right now my skin is feeling really good because I am kind of allergic to gluten. And when I eat gluten, my skin gets really bad. So I haven't been and it's been helping a lot. And dairy also is bad for your skin. And when I stopped eating dairy, my skin had a complete shift. I have to do a skincare routine every single night. There's no, <laughs> I saw this post that was like, here's a scenario, like your, your loved one goes missing and they say that you're not gonna be able to find them all night and they're gonna search, but they have to like stop for the night. You have to go to sleep. We'll start again tomorrow. Do you do your skincare routine? <laughs> sometimes I'll do like my entire, every inch of my face. Sometimes I'll just do like a couple dots here and there. I find, my skincare routine to be incredibly rejuvenating. So for me, I find a lot of like peace in it and it kind of like brings me back down to myself. I feel like nice. a person when I do it, especially after like a- <laughs> You feel normal, bro. Hold on, what am I doing? She feeling normal, bro. That's what's up. That's what's up. A night of performing and 
having really high highs and a lot of adrenaline, it's kind of a lot for a person. I really- Everything come through your pores. Pores my skin <laughs> with you, I really do. After that is off, I normally would go in with a these bad boys, and I would do severe damage to myself. I, I usually find myself standing here, like digging into my face for hours and hours, but um, I feel pretty good right now. I don't feel like I need to do that at this exact moment. I'm gonna use some cleanser, and I use Mandelic cleansing gel. I will use about this much-ish. I used to wash my face so violently. <laughs> <laughs> and a friend commented one time and she was like, why are you so rough with your face? I used to be like, <laughs> like a dude. Have you seen men wash their fucking faces? They go like. Hey. Don't have to do that. Hey, hey. Hey, that's how we do it though. That's how we do it. Oh shit. Don't have to do that. Be gentle. Gentle. And then you gotta get under here. And we rinse. Cold water. Don't use warm water. Don't use hot water. Use cold water. Didn't know that. Didn't know that. I always wait till the water warm up. <laughs> I use these little face white pads. Um, I don't use the disposable ones. I These were made by a friend of ours. You're getting rid of a shirt, don't throw it away. Just like cut little circles out of it. I have so many of these. So many. And then you just throw them all in a bag when you've used them after like a week, throw them in the washer, grab them, and you're good to go. I take this toner, put like about that much. You don't need much. Ladies, is your routine anything like this? Like, do y'all have, like, is this like something you constantly have to go through? Like, damn. <laughs> Like, I mean, it looks good, but damn, it's a lot, ain't it? I guess that's why y'all uh, y'all side of the bathroom counter is more congested than ours. And then I take this daily moisturizer, which is amazing. You can use this throughout the day whenever you would like. And I take like two pumps-ish. The thing that has, again, changed my life from Biba, this is her cream barrier. I love this stuff. It's really like a nighttime moisturizer, but I use it all the time. I actually use this before I put my makeup on. I like to look really shiny. I'll take like that much. Like, <laughs> I love this shit. And then after my daily moisturizer and my cream barrier, I will use this hydrating toner, which I don't know if you're supposed to do after this, but I just love to moisturize. Like, I want to look like somebody just dipped me in honey. <laughs> Taking care of your skin is, is so, so important as just a person, and it's... Especially in the heat. I know a lot of men, a lot of us men don't, don't do it. Um, take care of our skin unless, like, we had a dermatologist or something, and he or she tells us, you know, Something's going on, but uh, this is dope as hell to see, man. Like, like she like really like naturally beautiful. Like she don't, like like one of them purple that uh, one of them purple. One of those people that like can just wake up with like no makeup and be perfectly fine. Like that natural beauty. Like I love people like that. Not saying that if you use makeup, it's something wrong with you, but you know, sometimes less is more. It's kind of looked at as this like, oh, girls do that, but it's not true. Skincare is, is so much more than that, and it is it, there is no gender to it. And there are so many people that don't know much about taking care of your skin, and it's so important. It's so important, and it, like, it helps you. I feel like it helps me mentally. I feel so much better when I feel good about my skin. I always brush it anyway, but right now it's like very sweaty and covered in texture spray and it's rough to do it is very naughty my hair it has randomly in my life been a thing that i change a lot and i've had many 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 different hair colors since i was like 10. i didn't even know that that was a part of me like i just did it i, I <laughs> like i never thought oh i want hair to be the thing that i do also my parents were like totally down for me to be nine and like grab a 
manic panic glue <laughs> from or CVS and like throw it on my hair. They didn't care at the time. So I felt really comfortable in that and I just like loved it so much. I've dyed my hair so many times. I dyed it blue first when I was nine, I think. And then when I was 13, I got it bleached for the first time. I got it white and I had white hair for years. Black is kind of what feels the most like me, weirdly. Um, even though like I think I'm I'm naturally blonde. I haven't had natural hair color in a long time, but I think I'm Damn, she's naturally blonde. A lot of people that like don't like their natural hair color, bro. She's naturally blonde. Blonde hair, blue eyes. Can you see it? Can you see it out there? Black is kind of what feels the most like me, weirdly. Um, even though like I think I'm I'm naturally blonde. I haven't had natural hair color in a long time, but I think I'm naturally blonde. It's much easier to go out in the world and be a normal person with a, a normal hair color for me. Um, it's kind of a life changer, right? When I had green hair, I, I couldn't do shit. I couldn't go anywhere. <laughs> I haven't washed my hair tonight. I have another show tomorrow. I'm just gonna get it all gross again tomorrow, so I'm not gonna wash it. But what I like to do at night is use this Olaplex number six. It's like the bond smoother. I use a lot of Olaplex products for my hair. They're amazing. And I use this after every single time I wash my hair. And you can use it on your dry hair before you go to bed. And it'll just kind of like give some volume. I'll just do like that much. As soon as my... And when she say volume, it's like she making that motherfucker like feel out right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to learn all these terms, man, you know? Like, I ain't never been like, hey, let me get my hair some volume in this motherfucker. <laughs> I'll just do like that much. As soon as my face routine is done, I take the love of my life, which is a Aquaphor healing ointment, which I have with me at all times, 24 seven. It doesn't matter where I am, doesn't matter who I'm with, doesn't matter what I'm doing. I have this in my pocket and I have six more in my bag, always. This is my lip gloss. I don't use anything else. If I do, it's on top of this. <laughs> and it's just for like a shine. I'm really not a big fan of lip glosses because they are sticky and then they taste weird. Bro, I know somebody uses the same shit, bro. I thought, I thought that shit was weird, but like you said, they care about six of them. <laughs> <laughs> but they lips always be like perfect red on is not chapped <laughs> and just for like a shine i'm really not a big fan of lip glosses because they are sticky and then they taste weird and then they get in my throat and i can't sing very well when my when there's a weird taste in my throat so i never use lip gloss if i have to sing i'm really really big on healthy nails and taking care of my nails. This stuff called Thymolize, Tammy showed me this. So Tammy Taylor got, gave me my first set of nails a couple years ago and she did my nails for so long. She makes me nails sometimes when I, when I want, want to wear nails for something. And she's so incredible and she is just like a genius in this world and she makes all of her own products. This really saved me one time. I, one of my uh, acrylics like got bonked and you know when your nail gets bonked and it rips a little and it oh my god nothing worse than that feeling if you take this stuff and you literally just like drop a tiny bit in there it heals you up and i will use this stuff if my nails are feeling weak like if i had just had gels taken off or something and it'll just soak in on its own if you just like air it out and don't touch it. I also use beautiful oil because it's adorable. Look how cute it is, oh my <laughs> god. Usually I'll do this like after I file and buff my nails, but I just sometimes use this randomly because it just, it's so nice. I get that cuticle oil. I would give my ex-boyfriend like a full manicure all the time because <laughs> I love to do it. <laughs> I mean, if anybody's having problems with their nails, I'm like, come here. <laughs> this is the lotion that I use. It is a body cream. It's so amazing. Laura Mercier. It is so nice. It's so thick and like, oh my God, it just like smothers you. But I use this on my entire body. And you should too, motherfuckers. You motherfuckers have dry <laughs> skin. Stop. This is the stuff. Oh, it's so nice. 
<laughs> She's so funny, bro. <laughs> he said, you motherfuckers got dry skin. It's on my entire body. <laughs> and you should too, motherfuckers. You motherfuckers have dry skin. <laughs> stop. This is the stuff. Oh, it's so nice. And it smells so good. I feel like everybody that knows me, when they smell this, it just smells like me. <laughs> I feel you. I like to give massages to people that I am intimate with, and I will use this stuff. Uh oh, Billy. The full body. Here's my fragrance, Eilish. And I do like to put a little spritz of fragrance on before I go to sleep just to have, like, really, really a small amount, but just to have kind of an aura. If I know that I'm gonna sleep somewhere else, I will literally pack an entire bag and it's filled with all of <laughs> what I just showed you. I really enjoy <laughs> it. It makes me feel really good and, and happy and like very cozy and good. You know, if, I, if I'm if i missing any of this stuff, I really feel bad. I just don't <laughs> feel good. This was my post-show bedtime routine. I'm gonna go relax and then go to sleep and I, We'll get ready for the next one. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. <laughs> See ya. That was dope, bro. She didn't have to show us all her routine, but that was definitely uh, just seeing a kind of the behind the scenes of like just just normalizing her, just making you know, just bring her closer to hey, like I'm just. Uh, normal human being that I just have a talent for singing. I do the same shit as you do. Like, I just, this how I treat my face. That was dope as hell, man. Big Eilish post show beauty routine. And if you like this, please like this video. Comment some more Billy Eilish content. You want me to check out in the comment section down below. Share so you can, uh, so other people can see this video as well. And, uh, subscribe so you're notified every time your boy drops a video. And until next time, Veteran X fam, I'm out. Thanks for watching.